Well, President Macron is seeking to turn the page on a difficult few weeks for his government by doing an interview with the online media outlet Brut. Last week, the government agreed to rewrite a controversial security law that would have criminalised filming the police. And last weekend, there were nationwide protests against the law, fuelled by a video which showed three police officers beating black music producer Michel Zeckler at his Paris studio. Well, the journalist who will be interviewing President Macron later today is Brut. It's Remy Bouazine, who himself was injured by police while covering a crackdown on a migrant camp in Paris earlier this month. Well, for more on all of that, I'm joined by our French politics editor, Mark Pellman. And, uh, Mark, this is some, something of a media first for Emmanuel Macron, isn't it? Yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, he wants uh, to show that he is listening and especially listening uh, to the youth, to their concern. Uh, so he's going to do this interview with this online uh, media that has a, a large following. And uh, we're told that it's supposed to be quite interactive and that people will be able to ask uh, their questions. And obviously there'll be uh, questions about uh, police brutality, about uh, racism and about uh, the concerns of uh, the youth under the lockdown because uh, we heard President Macron said in one of his uh, speeches about the coronavirus that it's not easy to be 20 in 2020. So those are the words. He acknowledges uh, the problems of students, of uh, even high school uh, pupils and so on. But he will need uh, probably uh, to show uh, not only uh, that he's sensitive, but also that he can propose uh, some measures to boost uh, youth un uh, employment. Uh, for instance, some very uh, concrete uh, measures and to show uh, that there is indeed a future uh, despite uh, the bleak present with coronavirus, with uh, mass unemployment. And uh, with the issue of uh, terrorism, police brutality and so on. Obviously, uh, this is not a very happy moment. And he's probably hoping that being the youngest president, he can reach out to them. But there's, it's, that's not a given, of course. And of course, this does come at a very difficult time for Macron's government, which has really been battered by the controversy over this new security law. Can this interview help him to turn the tide a little? A little. But uh, probably that's all he can do. Uh, the actions uh, will speak. And Macron has decided, essentially, that the votes he is seeking for re-election in 2022 are on the right, that they're with the conservatives, even the far right. And clearly, he has veered uh, towards the right, not only economically, but in those recent weeks, even on the security front. Obviously, there have been some uh, quite terrible terrorist attacks, uh, there uh, was the Yellow Vest movement, and Emmanuel Macron has polls we don't have. And he knows that security is a major issue. He knows that protection of the police might not please uh, some uh, people in Paris and so on, but that's what the French want uh, massively. So he's decided that he's going to veer towards the right. When you do this, uh, obviously, you tend to lose uh, the youth vote. And so this is often key, because in, in France, uh, for the mother of all election, the presidential election, people vote quite a lot. You have 80 percent of turnout, and this means a lot of young people do vote. So he has uh, to go towards the right because he believes this is where the bulk of the vote is. But he cannot lose uh, the youth vote and risk uh, also some social movements in high schools or in university. We've seen this in the past, and it can create problems. So Emmanuel Macron will be uh, determined to show that he is sensitive and he's not only focused on the economy and on the security. All right, we'll see how that interview goes later today. Mark Pellman, thank you very much indeed. Now,